हेलो एवरी वन वॉट्सअप आई होप यू रियली लव दैट अमेजिंग इंट्रोडक्शनल वीडियो माई नेम इज रजत वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल वी एफ एक्स फोर इन दिस वीडियो यू विल बी लर्निंग दैट अमेजिंग वीडियो इन साइड ऑफ एलिमेंट थ्री डी सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मो फर्दर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो राइट नाउ यूर इन आफ्टर इफेक्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू टेक अ न्यू कॉम फेयर एंड लेट्स नेम इट लाइक टू ई एन वी फॉर एनवायरमेंट एंड रेजोल्यूशन आई एम टेकिंग इट लाइक वन जीरो एट जीरो बाई वन जीरो एट जीरो इट्स कंप्लीटली अ स्क्वायर एंड द टाइम ड्यूरेशन टेन सेकेंड्स इट्स गुड अनफ देन प्रेस ओके दैट्स इट हेयर यू हैव टू क्रिएट आवर वेरी बेसिक एनवायरमेंट फॉर एनवायरमेंट यू आर टेकिंग दिस पेन टूल हेयर एंड आफ्टर दैट वी आर नॉट सेलेक्टिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ सॉलिड लेयर्स जस्ट रैंडमली वी आर टेकिंग सम शेप्स हेयर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द शेप शुड बी लेट्स टेक अराउंड दिस वन दिस माई फर्स्ट शेप एंड सेकेंड वन शुड बी समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड थर्ड वन टू लेट्स टेक अराउंड समथिंग दिस ओके सो दीज आर द माई थ्री शेप्स हेयर विच इज प्रेटी नाइस एंड नाउ हैव टू एनिमेट दैट बट बिफोर दैट वी हैव टू चेंज द कलर्स सो आई एम जस्ट चेंजिंग इट टू लिटल बिट ऑफ ब्लू something like that that's it now select this tool select all these three and press p for the positions and take a keyframe and after that you have to move it back here like that something here and something like this okay that's fine and now let's move it to here and move it to here okay now you are going to the last frame 10 seconds comp select and drag it to here select drag it to here and select drag it to here that's it so now you play this this one animating just like that very simple animation nothing much okay now make it to full resolutions and for now we have to take a new adjustment layer and name it to like echo echo that's it select this and select from here i'm taking echo effect just drag and drop here that's it you can see there's a multiple numbers are coming here so let's echo number to like 5 and let's intensity of the dk like little bit of down just like that and now increase this one to bit higher something like that this is fine okay very good now we are going back to our new comp because we are taking a new comp just select this and now i am taking a like full hd resolution 1920 by 1080p and name it like a e3d just press okay here we are just drag and drop the environment on this comp and make it to off just like this right click new solid and name it like E3D again and just press OK. After that, we are pressing this video co pilot element on this specific layer. And now, from the custom layers, and we are taking from custom texture maps here. Just select this environment, and after that, just go to this scene setup. That's it here. Now, inside of scene setup, first of all, we have to import our model. Okay, so this is my drone model, and we have a by default plane here. Just turn it off. We don't need that right now. Now select the drone and from model center make it to bottom. So now it's up on the grid, and that's it. After that, make the positions a bit like that. Something here. Okay. Now take a new card and make it to bigger like this. And take from presets. I'm applying this chrome material. And after that, from this make it to mirror surface. That's it. Okay. So now we are applying a specific material on this drone model. So just go to this physical material and I'm applying this plastic white. Just double click on the entire model. So now what happened? All the models are exactly applied on the same material. Okay. So now you have to go down to this environment. Select this. Go to this drop down. You will find this environment one. Select this and just press OK. Now from here, diffuse color. Make it to black. Something like this. Just press OK. And now increase the glossiness to 100%. Specular multiplier to zero. That's it. Environment multiplier should be 100. And make sure you have to increase the reflectivity to 100%. That's it. Now go here. The settings. from normal make it to screen okay now nothing is visible i know so first of all select the plane here select this material select this one and you have to go down where you can find this matte shadow and matte reflection now go to here and you just decrease the glossiness a bit like 84% that's it now press okay everything is set up properly now you have to take our new camera so first of all you just have to move it a bit like this so now you can see the model here now right click new and then the camera so okay now you can see the model is almost visible so if i play this you can exactly see it start getting animating with some amazing lightning effects and all it's looking really really amazing but still we have left very more important parts here so select the element 3d first you have to go to the render settings where you can find this ambient occlusion this is the most important step here if you turn on this ambient occlusion 
just like this you can see something is getting changing here just turn it off and turn it down you can see but when you change it to from ray trace you can exactly see the basic changes will be happening okay after that just get it to fit here and now you have to go down the output one where you have to change the multi sampling from 8 to 16 and after that you have to increase the enhanced multism just turn it on now everything which you can see is start getting more realism that's it okay now you have to get some glow here so go back to your environment and just select the echo just control c and control v again to and rename it to like a glow and you just have to delete this effects from here and just increase it like glow material turn just drag and drop it here and now simply increase the glow radius just like this and now change any one color from here let's change it to a bit red or something like that this one is pretty nice okay that's it now you just go back to element 3d main layer it will automatically update and it looks super realistic and super amazing isn't it comment down below now you have to apply another glow on this area as well so go back to your environment select this glow Control c and get back to element 3d and then Control v now you can see this started glowing here then just simply go to this layer solid settings and now this is 1080 by 1080 then just make it to comp size and then just press okay i hope you guys already start loving this a lot so now we have to make sure our camera depth of field that is the most important part but before that i just want to show you how the animation is exactly look like okay so this is the basic uh, default output uh, after collecting this all materials it will look something like that so now after that we have to apply a specific depth of field because on this kind of renders the depth of field is the most important step here so for depth of field we just have to select the camera and just go to camera options and turn it on the depth of field and here you have to select your depth of field in a very specific way so go to this two view horizontal and where you can find this is your main focus point so this is your model area right now when when you turn on your depth of field that the focus distance is very high by default so make it to decrease it and you can find this area is your focus plane just go back to here so i'm just making it focus on this much area this is pretty nice to be focus and it looks also uh, being amazing so now we have to increase the aperture value let's make it to 35 percent which is a pretty decent number and after that just make it to one view so here i'm not showing you the rotation of this fan if you really want to learn this maybe in next tutorial or any other tutorial i will show you how you can use this by using auxiliary controls to rotate all those fans but if you want to you can check out any any other tutorials on my channel you can find those auxiliary controls where you can exactly learn how to rotate all these fans for him just importing a hue and saturations because if you really want to change this glow color with your controls you can really exactly change it from here so this is another way to change your colors not switching every time on this comp and that comp you can exactly change your colors from this area as well this is completely up to you if you want you can if you don't just delete it just like that after that you just have to simply render it and whenever it will done it's something look like this so guys i hope you really enjoyed this very simple neon kind of tron legacy effects this kind of renders inside of element 3d if you really love this video then don't forget to subscribe vfx world because we are very close to 50k and thank you very much few days back we just now crossed 40k and follow us on our social media handles facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below see you next time with more amazing content and be happy and keep watching vfx world